Throughout history, man has endeavored to give extensive and endless forms of understanding to the world that surrounds him. The strangeness of nature itself has sparked a thousand fantastical tales attempting to make sense and logic of that which seems unreachable and elusive to human understanding. From storms to deadly droughts, all civilizations since recorded history have concentrated their worldviews in mystical narratives of divine beings who, from a celestial plane or the very underworld, manipulate the threads of both the destinies of individuals and everything that surrounds them. Harvests, rains, fires, and even the miracle of life have some proximity in their initial definition to some kind of supernatural force that has placed them there for some reason. Both in the Eastern and Western worlds, religions have imposed themselves as the universal and socially accepted explanation for hundreds of generations. Millions of rituals are celebrated each year affirming this powerful institutionalization of what we know as Christianity, Buddhism, Islam, among many others. The faithful have turned these gatherings of devotion into true social rituals where they reaffirm and share their experiences of the most diverse natures and forms of expression. Whether it is Jesus, Allah, Muhammad, Abraham, they all share something in common, being symbolic representations of a set of values that move their followers, who project their lives according to the fundamental principles that their beliefs define as the right or the ordained for an eternal life, a life of light or wisdom. Despite the fact that humanity has often been at extreme war risk due to differences in beliefs, these seem not to cease, and their followers seem to rally more with the standards to defend their positions and principles in life. The history of humanity has countless facets, events that have conveniently been left out of the official and hegemonic narrative, which, due to their dark and little-known past, does not mean that they lacked a certain relevance or importance for an extensive group of people at a certain date. In fact, many of these events were in their time the official and duly accredited versions by emperors, kings, or figures of religious authority, but, for various reasons, many of them of a political nature, they were censored and kept away from public knowledge, burying them in the greatest of oblivion, to the point that today they seem like stories taken from conspiracy theories or documentation adulterated for sensationalist purposes. This was the case of the Holy Church of Karawa, whose influence on the Orthodox Patriarchate of Constantinople during the 6th and 7th centuries was of utmost relevance for various political decisions and diplomatic resolutions among the different rulers of the time. This church, whose foundation dates back to ancient tribes that inhabited what is now known as Turkey, began as a traditional heretical cult to the god of the caves called Karawayero, a place where a few ancient drawings have been found in the current province of Denis Lee, near the renowned Pamukkale Park. According to scarce historical records, the veneration of Karawa was one of the greatest secrets of the inhabitants of the southern and eastern region of Anatolia, who had to resist the onslaughts of various invasions and religious impositions that occurred on the bridge connecting Europe and Asia. From old books, his darkened and enormous appearance has been rescued. It is thought that these descriptions were probably intended to create a relatively terrifying story in order to persuade rival tribes or potential enemies of foreign nations. However, records close to the decline of the Roman Empire indicate something more than such an intention. Although the trace of Karawa is somewhat diffuse before the Common Era, it is during the time of Justinian the Great in the 6th century that the figure of the strange god reappears. In fact, it is said that the influence of this belief on the Roman Emperor was so great that he ordered to portray his image in the corners of the interior of one of the domes of the Hagia Sophia Cathedral, as a way of reminding the figures of Christianity of his fervent belief in what he called the one true God. 
Although today Hagia Sophia has been converted into a museum, after previously becoming a mosque with the Turkish invasion, and the portraits of Karawa are no longer there, there are records of historians, explorers, navigators, and political figures who have made references in their writings to the presence of this intimidating figure in the heights of Hagia Sophia. The museum's registry data indicate that around the year 1799, they were removed by explicit order of Selim III, and the persecution of the cult established as law in Mamat II in 1809, a year after the beginning of his sultanate, as a measure that is suspected to have had certain retaliatory motivations. From that date on, many works of art, both national and foreign, were declared lost or destroyed, only to be found in the mid-20th century. However, although the main center of worship seemed to be found in Ottoman lands, art historians and clerics have bet on its high level of knowledge beyond Turkish borders, after coming across a series of paintings that have tried to portray the relationship of men and Catholicism with Karawa. Both in the Middle Ages, with painters like Francesco della Passa, as well as with Veronio Salacci and Brehan von Haupthaus, contemporaries of Michelangelo Buonarroti, the evidence of the religious impact of this deity was revealed, despite the almost absolute ignorance of these artists, who enjoyed relative recognition in their lifetimes. But the question that arises is the following, who or what exactly was Karawa Yerol and why did it become such a transcendent figure in antiquity? Historians have not come to an exact conclusion about whether this entity was actually seen or had direct contact, as some stories describe it as a god appearing in the dreams of clergymen and kings, as well as a collective myth that induced pseudo-hallucinations close to what was known as mass hysteria. On the other hand, this figure is described as an omnipresent being, simultaneously seen in monasteries, cathedral catacombs, royal palaces, presenting itself as epiphanies of perfection and salvation to all who saw it. Such an impact had on the ecclesiastical society that many priests tried to influence the popes, as well as political authorities with religious connections, to impose the worship of Karawa as the true messenger of God. For this reason, stories mainly tell of its appearances to figures of relevance in the spheres of power, and rarely were detailed stories of revelations to peasants or slaves known. It is to be assumed that Karawa tried to ascend in the ranks of the different churches to impose a superior truth, replacing the gospel of Jesus Christ and even changing the course of human history. A writing found in present-day Cyprus, belonging to an anonymous scribe from the 3rd century, alludes to the most faithful and detailed description ever found of this entity. Found in the manuscripts of the Revelations to Alexander Severus, dated in the year 230 of the Common Era, it presents the following account. If the divine all allows it, May my pen be the bearer of celestial grace to recount the marvel that is the creature Karoi, a gift bestowed by the luminosity and wisdom of the Holy Spirit to the illustrious emperor Caesar Marcus Aurelius Severus Alexander Augustus in testimony of unquestionable truth. It is said that this divine entity is colossal, as fast as the columns that support the majestic palaces yet shrouded in the dark shadow of night and the darkness of coal. From its incomprehensible form rises a robust neck and a countenance of dark mantle and tone. From this being emanate reddish glows of intense incandescence, never resting in their radiance. Its language is a thunderous whisper, serpentining through every corridor and penetrating the chambers of saints and sinners just in thieves, with an unmistakable celestial voice, although its presence is ambiguously demonic. To all who hear it, 
No matter how brief the moment, it possesses them and is worshipped as the true God. It is said to crawl on immense walls, leaving a trace of darkness on the pristine marble. It flees through forests and caves of unfathomable depths beyond the reach of human exploration. It annihilates hurts, leaving behind a trail of misfortune, celebrated with frenetic and enigmatic jubilation by kings and slaves alike. From its gaze emanates the inexplicable and mysterious divinity of the celestial plane. It is interesting to analyze the ambivalent nature of its presence, as described in what is a transcription of a story by Alexander Severus. Despite its divine, revealing, and enticing character for the entire world, Karawa harbors immense violence and disdain for society. It seems that its attempt to move within the upper echelons had the sole intention of stripping Christian figures of their worship position and establishing itself as the true God, transcending borders and religions, as its influence in Ottoman society in the 19th century had transformed into a matter of imperial order and security. Today, some archaeologists have insisted to the Turkish government to allow excavations and interventions both in the catacombs and in the domes of the Hagia Sophia Museum, but their efforts have been in vain, as the museum's heritage protection only allows interventions authorized by competent bodies in relation to state geological restoration and intervention processes. Whether it is possible someday to discover the mysteries behind the mosaics or not, the existing replicas in small mosques, which in the past were churches and basilicas, scattered throughout Turkey, of the original mosaics, offer a direct historical source for the study and unveiling of the mysteries of the cult of Karawa, a part of human history that lies hidden in the deepest ignorance and unfamiliarity but which could be one of the definitive keys to understanding the most horrendous wars. For religious reasons that have occurred in the past. The influence of Karawa on powerful rulers of extinct empires could have defined the understanding of our Western world and the political relations between different cultures that coexist in close and complex relationships. <laughs>